Good evening, and this is Thai PBS World Daily. Thai people and foreign visitors went to the Grand Palace earlier today to offer their condolences to the late Queen Elizabeth II. Her portrait has been displayed at the palace's Mani Noparat Gate since Monday. The portrait will be displayed until September 25th to allow the public to pay their final respects. The Supreme Court found former Deputy Prime Minister Sutep Thuk Subban not guilty of corruption in connection with the Royal Thai Police's project for the construction of 396 police stations. In 2009, Sutep changed procurement contracts by combining them into a single contract and PCC Development and Construction Company won the contract. The two other police officers in their capacities as members of the bidding committee were charged with failing to perform their duty properly, whereas the construction firm was charged with failing to complete the construction project on time. Arrest warrants have been issued for six more suspects wanted by police in Nonthaburi for the assault on a 16-year-old boy who was abducted at gunpoint from a motorcycle repair shop last week. One of the gang members were allegedly shot by another and is currently being treated at a hospital in Pakre district. Thai military forces based along the Myanmar border in the northern province of Chiang Rai have stepped up border surveillance, especially in Masai district, to prevent the smuggling of a new narcotic known locally as Happy from Myanmar's Takilik township. The drug has not yet been found on the Thai side of the border, but local officials have also stepped up road checks for suspicious cars or people who may try to smuggle the drug into the country. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, thaipbsworld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.